Well, the first reaction was, number one, did anybody get hurt? You know, we wanted to make sure. Number two, you know, we know US-82 is built through a mountain. We've seen smaller rocks, rock falls, always a risk out here. You know, they called and said, it's pretty big. So it had to be anywhere from 50 to 100 tons. I mean, it was a huge shelf of limestone and biggest boulders I've ever seen fall on this highway. You know, anytime moisture gets in the cracks, there's always a possibility of, of freezing and thawing and some expansion. And, and more than likely, the cause was just de deterioration over time of the limestone. It's probably the largest rock slide we've had in the last 20, 30 years. And so, you know, we want to make sure, number one, the, the public was safe. Well, law enforcement um, wanted us to shut down the road, which the, the traffic couldn't get it through anyway. The amount of, of, of debris, of limestone that came down, uh, was the highway was not passable. And we were able to get our crews in, um, start planning, getting materials, labor, equipment, everything involved to just get this rock removed. For the safety of our workers, which are on site immediately, you know, they're evaluating, see if they can remove the debris, the limestone, and get the highway open, because that's always priority to get traffic flowing. We actually hired a local contractor with the right equipment, and uh, we jackhammered uh, all the, these big rocks. Uh, we were actually get, able to get them like in smaller um, uh, size where we were actually able to haul them off down the mountain. I think that just the teamwork, communication, um, just like step by step what we needed to do to remove the rock, uh, to get it down and then also start for the repair work, getting materials, getting the right equipment up here, doing it in a safe and proficient manner. Um, I know like we're always worried about the public, but we also have to look at our internal staff, making sure it's safe for them doing the work, what we're doing. And I think everything, just doing it um, by plan, I think we worked out pretty good. The Tularosa Maintenance Patrol out here, and we also had the Mayhill Patrol out here. Uh, I'm, I commend their effort. Uh, three days, you know, 24-7 almost. Uh, dedication, and, and that's the word that describes the, the staff that was out here, and just want to say thank you to them. We ended up bringing in an expert, a geotechnical engineer, to evaluate the situation. In his professional opinion, he, uh, he said it's very stable. Please obey the, the warning signs, the rock falling signs, uh, speed limits, uh, help, help you stay safe here on, out of here on US 82.